Well, hey guys, welcome to another Wednesday quickie. I'm going to be uh, doing them, these from now on. I'm going to try to do it every Wednesday, but, you know, just bring you along for the quick stuff that goes on in the air fryer or not the air fryer. I might surprise you. I use other things around here, okay? So anyways, let's make some garlic Texas toast. This is a uh, homemade bread that I cooked yesterday, and I sliced it in, in thick slices. I only sliced three because it's just the three of us. So, uh... All right, so I got a stick of butter, and it's non-unsalted uh, butter, okay? So because it's unsalted, I'm going to add like a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. If you're using salt and pepper, salted uh, butter, then don't worry about it. And this is about seven to eight garlic cloves, thinly minced, okay? I use my mini processor. doesn't take long. You need to invest in one of those. And here's a tablespoon of parsley. So we're going to mix that up. Oh, well, your butter is at room temperature, by the way. So let me mix that up, and then we'll we'll get going. All right, so there it is, right there. So just take the back of your spoon and grab some of that beautiful goodness and lay it on thick. It's like so. And I'm not putting any oil, no spray, or nothing on the bottom because we're trying to make toast. And I'm not going to use all this butter, but that's okay because we'll make more tomorrow. Does that look good? Well, not much left, but it's okay. All right. So, if it's three, I could have put four, really. Let me show you. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna put the bottom on. Of course, we wanna toast the bottom. And you can't see very well. And the top, I'm gonna put it to a four, because we want that to crisp up. So we'll be back, I'll tell you how long. All right, guys, five minutes. Check that out. Five minutes. I tell you what, pretty damn close. Um, I'm gonna turn it down to a three. I don't wanna burn them. The center's still a little mushy. So let's do this again. All right guys, that was another five minutes. And I did turn it down to a two. Like just look at it and judge it that way. Let me turn my crap off here. But boy, does it look beautiful. It's hard and crispy. No, you know, hard and crispy. Let's check it. Ouch. Look at that. Let's see underneath. Is that beautiful, you guys? We're going to let that cool and we're going to taste. I'd say don't put it on a four right away. Don't put it on high because that really browned out really fast. So uh, do like a two for like five minutes or so and then turn it up so you can get the outer edge crispy and stuff like that. But don't cook it too fast because, you know, you want the whole thing toasted, not just the edges, right? Okay, so we'll be back to taste. All right, so let's give it a try. Oh, yes. I got some big spaghetti in the oven, so that's what's going on there. Ready? Look at the back side. Right? Okay. Actually, let me just split this down the middle so you can see. It's toast, man. It feels it's, it's like toast, okay? Whoa, where are you at? Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Anyways, of course you can do this in the oven, but why not use the air fryer and then just walk away? So probably total cook time about seven, eight minutes. But like I said, don't put it on high at first. Just give it a two, like a medium high, and then bump it up so you can get the brown edges. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.